Okay, hey everybody, welcome to another episode of On The Rest From Off The Cuff. Today we have a really cool new release for you from the brand Zelos. Um, they're basically a micro brand that was founded back in 2014. Um, and they really have this unique overbuilt design aesthetic, which I think really works for them. And the nice thing is not only are they overbuilt, they're actually finished to a very high level. So it kind of goes hand in hand. I know a lot of times when it comes to micros, you can find a lot of um, watches that are out there that definitely feel overbuilt, look overbuilt, um, but don't necessarily, I'd say, always have the real fine details to kind of back up uh, um, those aesthetics. The nice thing is here, you get the specs, you get the aesthetics, really you get the full package, and at a pretty <laughs> incredible price. Um, so this is, of course, the Zelos swordfish uh, version number two so it's a second gen and it's actually an updated model i guess you could even think of it as a 2.1 if you really want to um because they did revise the clasp um so this is basically the third clasp on this model um but it's pretty much uh, essentially apart from the clasp it is the second iteration and uh this particular unit is the hellacial blue which is really really great um uh, before we jump too far into that, um, this is of course a dive watch. Now when you're looking for a dive watch, some key common characteristics and design language for dive watches, of course you're going to want water resistance through some type of screw down crown. You want something that's tough, legible with a dive time bezel, um, and then of course a diver's extension if on bracelet is always nice. So let's go ahead, get this piece in hand, and take a closer okay, look. Okay, one thing I did want to highlight also is of course this really great high quality leather um, watch roll that actually comes with the Zelos, which um, you guys have probably seen on the channel before. But again, this thing is like super plush. You can see really nice uh, soft touch interior. Uh, you can see this really nice quick release equipped leather strap that comes equipped. You got your also uh, very nice little warranty card metal. So that's also a nice touch. And then you can keep your extra links and whatnot in there. But I thought that was that's uh, pretty nice and something you don't always get. So you can see here that it is very useful. Um, even if you don't want to stow watches in it, you can definitely stow the accessories and whatnot and have something nice and tidy. And it actually comes inside a hard wooden box that this sits inside. So if this isn't enough for you, it also comes with a wooden box, which is also pretty high value. So now let's go ahead and jump into uh, the details on this piece. Um, of course, you can see that it's very, very striking. The swordfish was named after one of the largest, I'm sorry, one of the fastest fish to swim in the ocean. And essentially this particular uh, watch bearing this the namesake, um, you know, it, it also is quite angular and aerodynamic. It has these really nice surfaces, um, and it combines a lot of really nice premium. Ooh, look at the way the light plays off of that nice flat brush links there. You can see that the links are actually flat on top, and then as they kind of go around the curvature, because they're all individually articulated, you do catch light in a really fun, unique way. But you can see also when they want to lay flat, it's very flat and uh, has that really nice utilitarian look, but somehow pulls off a real eye catch, which is really, really great. Um, now this particular model goes for $349 um, US dollars, and that's direct from Zelos. Uh, as far as dimensions go, they did go across the screen earlier, but briefly again, it's 42 millimeters in diameter with a 13 millimeter height, 48 millimeters from lug to lug, and is of course uh, crafted in full stainless steel. Um, the sapphire crystal is flat, and this particular model actually has a uh, uh, the stainless steel insert, which I think is quite handsome. There's also ceramic options, but let's go ahead and get this. 120 click unidirectional bezel action. Very nice. So 
Uh, really great grip, even with the gloves on. Uh, very nice clicks, still very, very smooth. Um, again, it's one of those things where it's very, very proficient from a functionality standpoint and really, really quite impressive. Now, the crown is also screwed down and signed, as you can see there. And you can see some of those nice angles with the high polished right on top of those crown guards. Then you come around, you have some more angles, and then you have the high polish on the inner sides on the angles of the lugs, which is a really nice touch. Really great play with the light, as you can see, even the black kind of reflection ties in with the almost fume uh, dial uh, coloration that they've added, where it's gonna be blue towards the center and then gradiently get darker. And then of course, the uh, just the texture itself, quite unique uh, to Zelos. They actually um, had this on their Mako model as well, um, except of course the dial was completely different, but this uh, particular texture um, is quite similar, which is nice to see that kind of becoming a characteristic of the Zelos family of kind of design language. Now, the movement inside is a Seiko Instruments NH35, really solid. Of course, you can't see it uh, through this solid etched case back with a swordfish on it. Uh, but you will see the revised clasp. Uh, some of you who've already seen the previous uh, reviews of this model may say, hey, it doesn't look very different. But the real difference is in the scissor portion of the folding clasp there. Of course, this is all milled, which is quite impressive um, because it is still nice and uh, thin and angular and uh, you know not super bulky. So that's really nice. And then now with the extra scissor, basically opening length, it makes it easier to fit over your hand uh, when you're putting it on your wrist, which we will get to once we get into the wrist shots. Now, as far as this dial goes, as you can see, we did touch on it. Very, very nice. You have that kind of reflective blue 3D texturing, and then you have like the sandwiched uh, indices, uh, basically, which are just cutouts there. Um, and then with the no date option, it's very, um, you know, very symmetrical, which is really great. And, and it really adds to the legibility by having just all that extra loom in there, which is uh, very, very nice. Uh, the loom itself is actually a mixture. Some areas are C3, while others are BGW9, which we'll also get to in the uh, low light transition and loom shot portion of the video. The water resistance is 300 meters, which is great. Uh, definitely a professional uh, rating. And then, of course, you know, most people will never really go beyond 30, 40 meters, but uh, you can definitely do that with confidence um, that there's going to be uh, atmospheric pressure testing on here, which is really great. Um, so the lugs are 22 millimeters across, and then the bracelet does taper down to 20 millimeters. It has screw pin connectors, which is really great. As you can see, oh man, this thing is even from this angle from the side, look how gorgeous that is. And then you can look at the articulation on these links. That is, I mean, come on guys. That is gorgeous. It looks and feels almost like a suit of armor, just ready to lay down um, on your wrist. Uh, so it definitely gives you quite a very protected and tool vibe there um, for, of course, when you're gonna be using it in some type of water sports capacity. Um, so with all that said, let's go ahead and get this piece on the wrist. All right, now as you can see on my seven and a quarter inch wrist, the 42 millimeters were really, really nicely, and a lot of it has to do with these contours, and that's, oh man, that finishing, although is quite breathtaking. You can see the way that it just plays with the lights here, but really great contours. You know, the lugs are angled down, um, and because of the way the light plays, it actually does help visually reduce a lot of the weight here of this watch. Although it is meant to be a chunky sports tool dive watch and everything, there's just so much, uh, I guess, when you get into the fine details that really pull you in. And the finishing level is really outstanding. Uh, the, the machining on the sides here remind me quite a bit of my Certina DS action. And it's a very industrially, you know, finished, but it has some really great lines and whatnot that um, that I think play super well. Um, I think within that kind of tool diver aesthetic, and you can see with a little bit more, uh, you know, idea of my arm in the picture, it does give you a better idea of the scale. But it does ride the wrist quite well, 
wraps really nicely. Oh, man, I can't get over the beauty of this bracelet. That is really, really nice uh, and definitely tough to achieve to get something that, of course, it feels a little bulky and um, overbuilt and gives you that kind of confidence in wear while also giving you a level of refinement uh, where you can appreciate it at more than just a passing glance where you kind of can get pulled in to so many of these just fine details. So really, really nice and uh, quite impressed from that aspect. So let's go ahead and move into some little light transition and some motion. All right, let's go ahead and hit the lights. As you can see, that thing is glowing. Uh, just really beautifully bright there. You can see it actually does have that kind of outer index ring that uh, lights up very nicely with the blue tone. And then you're gonna get all the green tones throughout. Um, and then you're, to tie into the blue, you're also gonna get the seconds hand, which which nice to know, is running so you know your watch is running while you're underwater or you know doing any type of timing at all. But what I like to do also, apart from the loom shot, is to do a low light transition so you can get a bit of an idea of what this timepiece will look like and you know less than optimal you know outdoor um, full-on direct sunlight conditions which the studio lights do a great job of actually imitating but the low light will kind of give you a better idea of some of the tones in uh, the dial the texturing there that just get tend to get washed out in watch reviews but one of the things I really really enjoy that I've noticed is you can take a look at the way the light plays off of the finishing on all of the stainless steel parts of the bracelet and the case and whatnot. And you can really, really see the consistency when it comes to just the level of finish that you're gonna have. And it is really, really gorgeous. So you, as you can see there, the way just the light plays can tell you so much um, about just the level of finish, the level of care level of refinement that you're going to be getting into and for something that is so well equipped at that price point I think it is really um, spectacular so with all that said you know on the wrist it's definitely large but far from oversized you know it's clearly overbuilt um, but it really has those great details that can draw you in after an initial glance as far as model variants go definitely check for their current availability as there's always models kind of selling pre-ordering selling out um, so you'll really have to check to see what's available at the time that you're watching this review as far as comparable models go I can think of one watch that really compares nicely to this now that's the Seiko Samurai uh, reissue and it's a great timepiece um, you know, similar price range, similar aesthetic, you know, quite angular, overbuilt feeling. Um, but man, the, the Zelos is basically better in, I'd say, every measurable aspect, though. I mean, if you were to compare the two, there's really nothing that the Seiko is going to do any better, um, except for maybe being a Seiko. <laughs> so it, it has a following, it has a niche. Um, there's a certain level, I guess, of collectability there. But pretty much every other um, objective measure uh, the Zelos is, is going to have it beat hands down. I mean this thing is just fully loaded, fully equipped, solid everything um, and it's still in a constant state of refinement so you do get to know those little tweaks here and there. They're listening to people um, you know when it comes to what uh, their consumers are looking for and they're really working to give you something that you guys want so you know that's I think to me very very commendable and uh, I just I can't stop being impressed by these guys so if you can dig this design aesthetic and you think hey wow that's a stunning uh, sports watch I think you guys will definitely be happy with what you're going to receive uh, to get on your wrist. You know, bottom line, you're getting a lot of watch for the money, and it really wears extremely well um, at a really nice spec there. So you are getting quite a bit of bang per buck as well. But definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you like the video, please do hit like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for more content just like this. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.